ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the afternoon weather extreme video. This is for Valentine's Day, the 14th of February. A nice warm-up today is expected after a very cold start this morning. Let's check out some SkyCam images coming from the ABC 3340 SkyCam network. First off, up on Mount Chiha, the camera focused in, uh, looking off to the west. That is a huge smoke plume coming from Pell City, and that is a major fire at the old Avondale Mills facility there in town. You can see some ground shots from the blog, but that's a pretty big smoke plume there coming from the uh, SkyCam. Uh, down south, Gulf Shore is looking good, looking back off to the east from top of the Phoenix All Suites. And upstream, there's a look at the uh, Tom Bigby River at Demopolis, coming from the Demopolis Civic Center. A lot of water in the uh, stream there now as we've had some really good rain events of late. Here's our water vapor satellite imagery, Alabama in between waves. The uh, wave that brought the cold yesterday and the rain night before last is off the east coast. Next one already forming out there in the southwestern states. That'll be the one to watch. Temperatures beginning to rebound. Readings are mostly in the uh, 40s at late morning. Uh, most spots are going to wind up in the uh, mid to upper 50s today. Uh, milder off in Texas, got some 60s out there, but brutally cold over Canada. And some of that dipping down across the uh, U.S.-Canadian border once again. The cold front marking the leading edge of that Arctic air, producing some light snow for parts of Minnesota, Michigan, Iowa. Winter weather advisories there and a whole bunch of winter storm watches for the Rockies. Even parts of West Texas under a winter storm watch for that big system that will be impacting Alabama late this weekend. There's the expected rain across the country for the next five days. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. This is suggesting rainfall amounts of one to one and a half inches here. Heavier rain off to the west from Houston back up to about uh, Springfield, Missouri. Uh, severe weather risk. This is the uh, day two outlook tomorrow. A slight risk from the Texas Hill Country to the Middle Coastal Plain. Pretty much the same area on uh, day three. This is Saturday. Uh, much of central and south Texas and southwest Louisiana. And then on Sunday, the guys at Norman have defined a severe weather risk for about the southern half of Alabama, really uh, just along and south of Interstate 20. And uh, they might be pulling that thing north as we go along here. Let's take a look. This is the uh, 12Z GFS valid at noon tomorrow, noon on Friday, at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. Polar vortex over Hudson Bay. And there's that cutoff low that's uh, down there near Phoenix. And at the surface, uh, will be dry tomorrow. Probably some high clouds moving in, but I think the day will be uh, it's pretty decent. We'll be up in the uh, low 60s and chance of a few showers off to the west of here. But the uh, main action will be out there over Arizona and New Mexico. Saturday starting off the weekend, the upper-level trough uh, moves over toward El Paso. And we note that northern trough coming down over Montana and those two should begin to phase up on Sunday. But at the surface on Saturday, we, I think we stay dry. And we've got this uh, shot of drier air to the northeast of the state, and how far south that penetrates could impact the uh, event Sunday. We'll knock down the highs a little bit Saturday, back into the upper 50s. And, of course, the main rain is still well off to the west. And there's your Sunday system. Phasing is getting underway, the trough going negative tilt. And at the surface, that sure looks like a severe weather event to us. Surface low uh, midday Sunday is uh, off to the east of St. Louis with a trailing band of showers and storms moving on in here. And it sure looks like those storms will come through Sunday afternoon during the peak of the uh, daytime heating process. And as always, the uh, instability is the big question mark. Certainly, I think we'll have that for South Alabama, and it could be for North Alabama as well. And then uh, 6 o'clock Sunday evening, the surface low moves up to near Detroit, 988 millibar low there with the showers and storms beginning to shift over into Georgia. Really looks like it might be a noon to 6 o'clock thing Sunday afternoon, if this is correct. And then Monday, with a big old phase trough, there's the cold air shot again. Surface showing thickness values very low, and that air coming off the snowpack to the north. It looks a lot like yesterday. Maybe some morning flurries. Temperatures going nowhere. will be in the 30s all day. And then Tuesday, a hard freeze Tuesday morning as the surface low drops down to near Mobile Bay. And Wednesday of next week looks dry. Return flow setting up will start to warm up and a few showers off to the west. We've got three more days. This is the uh, 23rd shortwave trough a little bit uh, northwest of the state. That's suggesting a storm with the main dynamics pretty far to the north. <clears throat> Four more days on the uh, 27th. <clears throat> Another nice-looking trough there coming through. And 
surface chart, wet, stormy, maybe some snow on the backside of that. And the end of the forecast period, March 1st. Can you believe it? I believe we're talking about March already here. Before you know it, they'll be putting Christmas stuff up in the stores. Um, we've got the uh, shortwave trough over Texas, and again, that looks uh, potentially wet soon after that. But uh, you, you get the idea that the pattern looks kind of uh, uh, wet, active, stormy, with frequent rain producers. And again, that's uh, what we need for a state that's in a big drought, but I'm afraid there will be a few severe weather opportunities on the way. And if this keeps up, could be a pretty busy spring tornado season here. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.